In the final part of our interview series, Dr. Samir Joshi shares his expectations for the upcoming round of discussions at INC 5.2 and offers a roadmap for how the international community can make tangible progress in combating plastic pollution and climate change. Dr. Joshi, what are your expectations from INC 5.2? I have attended all the five sessions of the INC and uh, you know treaties before the expectations I'll give you a picture treaties like this have you know the, the, the INC 5 Busan meeting uh, began on 25th of November and in the words of the UNEP executive director, that day marked the thousand day, you know, 1000 days before the announcement was made that we will come to a global plastic treaty. Thousand days and you know, global treaties take sometimes from 10 years to 30 years. And, you know, uh, people say it has failed or yeah, I do not agree with that. In thousand days, we have come to such a stage that, you know, we have realized the issue. We have come to a, at least come to you know, uh, what I, I like to say, agree not to disagree. That is an achievement. And I know I, has, I see the sincere effort by all the stakeholders wherein you know uh, all the if, uh, issues are addressed to give you an example there is an uh, you know small small points were raised at the uh, observers meetings with the un leadership one indian organization raised a point very relevant small and medium enterprises are they taken into account so the drafted text of the chair makes the uh, in the opening paragraphs say we will uh, strive to make a treaty where the, all the stakeholders including the small and medium enterprises are addressed to you know what i've learned is uh, the, this is a process of learn and learn and relearn in the thousand days plus it it was hearing discussing and negotiating to finalize and the classic words of the INC chair is nothing is agreed till everything is agreed. What is it's a deep meaning. We are not pushing things through. Everyone has to see value in it. And as far as the questions, you know, expectations are many. The thing is nothing, you know, nothing is agreed till everything is agreed. Entire life cycle of the plastics need to be address the commitments and transparency of the nations need to be addressed the trade measures need to be addressed most of all respecting the indigenous rights and knowledge systems need to be addressed science-based approaches finding a means of uh, defining the certain terms and the financial mechanisms these need to be addressed you know, perhaps we may have left with more questions than answers at 5, INC 5, but I am optimistic and the world is optimistic, those who are there. 178 countries, they are optimistic that we will find solution and it is not like that, you know, you have to just have a deadline. The plastic pollution cannot be ended in two years of negotiations. It has to have faith wait and do and negotiate and then come to a final draft for the treaty thank you so much for your insights sir dr joshi's final thoughts provide a hopeful yet realistic outlook on the future of plastic pollution negotiations this concludes our five-part series. Thank you so much for joining us as we explore the complexities of this global challenge. And for more such interviews, stay tuned to Palmer Update. This is Sejal Hore. Thank you.